intercepted. On Monty Foreman. This got to run here. Right now. He's got one man to beat. He's at the half midfield. At the 41, the last man there. And he has to cut back across the field at 20. This A-10-5. A's touchdown. Not the 23-yard line. Well, Monty Foreman still on his feet. 40. Got some room. 40. Seven, Deontay Foreman, Roosevelt Elementary. Number two, Donald Lynch, Roosevelt Wilson Elementary. Number 17, Nephew Hernandez, Cofield Elementary. Uh, number nine, Zach Pryor, Northside Elementary. Bobby O'Neill, number 47, Roosevelt Wilson Elementary. Number 50, Keith and Heron Jr., D, Roosevelt Elementary. Number 56, Latrell Wafer, Roosevelt Wilson. Number 58, Gabriel Garza, Northside Elementary. Number 34, Corey Robinson, Heights Elementary. Number 44, Francois Bonilla, Cofield Elementary. Number 11, Cameron Moreno, Northside Elementary. Number 6, Devontae Hinton, Roosevelt Elementary. Number 33, Jordan Coffey, Heights Elementary. Number 10, Nathan Stahl, Roosevelt Elementary. Justin Burke, 74, Northside Elementary. Andrew Allen, quarterback, number 8, D, Heights Elementary. Number three, Armonte Foreman, Roosevelt Wilson Elementary. Number 83, Tay Smith, Roosevelt Wilson Elementary. Number 72, Chris Mock, I went to Heights Elementary. Number 45, Tori Cooper, Heights Elementary. Number 23, Colin Abernathy, Fatima. Number 20, Marshall Cervic. Number 41, Kate Metz, Northside Elementary. Number 60, Dwayne Taylor. Number 13, Trace Rodriguez, Roosevelt Wilson Elementary. Father Perry, number 54, Northside Elementary. Number one, Nathaniel Elvis, Kofi Elementary. Logan Thompson, number 81, Northside Elementary. Number 90, Larry Edwards, Kofi Elementary. Number 82, Jose Rojas, Heights Elementary. Number 51, Jared Holt, Sims Elementary. Number 61, David Chapa, Northside Elementary. Chandler Blasberg, number 66, Heights Elementary. Number 55, Boston Montana. Number 36, Dante Hayes, Cofield Elementary. Number 16, Aaron Clace, Our Lady Fatima. Everybody and welcome to Rice Stadium, the Texas City Stingeries, and the Rosenberg Terry Rangers in tonight's by district action. 24-4A champion Texas City and the 23-4A third place team, the Rosenberg Terry Rangers, get ready to play. Dennis, we were talking, trying to remember in our old age how long it had been since we've been here. It's been a few years, but 
great, great, great venue for a football game. Man, I tell you, walking this place and it just kind of takes your breath away. Just the, the, uh, it's just it's an awesome place to walk into. That uh, it's, uh, you've got the Houston the skyline behind us, and we, we're looking out over the, uh, over the medical center. It's just, I mean, it's just gorgeous place to be. We'll go ahead and get the trivia question <laughs> out of the way. I did some studying last night. Do you know what the original name of this stadium was before it was called Rice Stadium? Do, and, do I know? Do you know? No, I, I would not know. It was actually called Houston Stadium. Houston Stadium. Is that where the, did they play the Super Bowl at the Houston Stadium they or Rice played Stadium? The, they played the Super Bowl, I believe, at the Houston Stadium. Then when they started playing the Blue Bonnet Bowl here, it, it was already changed to Rice at that time. Of course, it was the home of the uh, Houston Oilers until the Astrodome was built. Well, actually, they moved over to Jefferson Stadium for a little bit. Then, then the Houston. But anyway, that's it. That's all I know. So <laughs> we're done with that. Let's talk a little high school football. We're the Stings are on the field. We're waiting the Terry Rangers to come on the, for, representing Lamar Consolidated ISD. Interesting tale of two totally different teams when you look at stats and the kind of numbers that they've put up. Well, you, you're right. Uh, you know, Terry comes in there. They are – now, you know, we talk about this. We talked about this <laughs> earlier this season about how a team was going to come in and run. So, well, Terry is a, uh, a read option team, and so they, they rely on their quarterback, the strength of their quarterback. He is their leading rusher. Uh, and so that's – you know, you're going to see the read option. Uh, and so, you know, actually tonight they're probably going to just drop back and pass the whole game because uh, we see the read you, option. You know they are. That's right. <laughs> Clock is as at zeros, and again the Texas City team is lined up, ready for the national anthem. The Texas City team came in from the from the field down here. The uh, Terry team they're having to climb down the stairs, so that's just not <laughs> that's really right. fair already to start with. They are filing down single file now. Terry finished the season with 1,978 offensive yards, and give you an idea of those just under 2,000 yards, 1,565 were on the ground, so only 413 passing. So. Uh, they, like you said, statistically, that's what they do is right. run the ball. Out of their district, they were they were ranked last in, in team offense, third in team defense. They, they averaged 279 yards a game, and they averaged giving up 272 yards a game. So, uh, you know, they come in with a record of five and four, uh, finished strong. I think uh, at the end of the season they uh, beat, a, beat an Angleton team. Uh, Angleton ended up uh, finishing uh, uh, the beat Angleton 33 to 14 in the last game of the season. And, and I believe kind of finished that that uh, district strong there, uh, but they still finished uh, five and four on the season, and four and two in their district. Again, George Ranch uh, is the winner of that district at six and zero. Oh. Foster comes in at four and two. Of course, uh, uh, those two teams, Foster and Angleton, are representing that district in the Division One. George Ranch and Terry are division uh, representing that district in Division Two. These two teams do have a common opponent this year. Texas City and Terry both played Friendswood. Terry lost to Friendswood 21-20. to Of course, as you remember, Texas City beat Friendswood 45-37. to And you're looking at that stat, it makes it seem like it's going to be a very close ball game. Yes, it does, exactly. We'll take a break now as we get started here in just a minute. Right now, our national anthem. As both teams' captains meet at the center of the field for the coin toss representing Terry Number one, Ivan Hinojosa. Number 10 is Kishon McLean. Number 53 is Brian San Jose. And number 88 is Kellen Howard. For Texas City, number two, Donald Lynch. Number eight, Andrew Allen. Number 34, also for Texas City, is Corey Robinson. And number 83, Tate Smith. Terry's won the toss, and they have elected to uh, defer to the second half, so Texas City will be receiving the ball. A little bit of, a little bit of wind up here <laughs> in the press box. Uh, um, I'm not sure how that affects you down the field. It's in a bowl stadium. Of course, you walk in to the stadium, and the, and the playing surface is below. Uh, so I'm sure the wind will be whipping down there a little bit. The flags show uh, that Texas City will have a little bit of the wind, a little bit at their back, kind of cross from the visitor side to this side. These two teams met five years ago in this very game uh, in the first round, the Bay district playoff game, over at Trailer Stadium. Trailer Terry Stadium. won a toss and, and got to play at their home game. Tra uh, Terry actually won that game 13 to nothing to finish Texas City's season off. So if for no other reason to give them a little motivation 
as if they would need some other than just you lose, you go home for the rest of the season. And I remember that game is like Texas City never got off the bus. That's exactly right. The, uh, yes. All the uh, paraphernalia, the band cheerleaders, uh, <laughs> their tunnel, everything was late. It was, uh, yeah. Got caught in that traffic over there, and, and uh, just and it just seemed like they just never got off the bus. Remember, we had kids on Christian. Uh, our kids were on the sidelines yeah, that, that was their right. sophomore year. Kind of a sad one to be a part of. Terry to kick off. And we'll get this game underway. Of course, Texas City coming in 10 and 0. High expectations all season, all leading to right here. And the second season is underway. I want to say that's the first time I've ever seen a team just kick off. Yeah. Kick off just like they need to. Armani Foreman catches it at his own 10 yard line. We got a flag block in the back, and Foreman bring it all the way across the field, and he'll be out of bounds at the 22. That one's going to get That one will come back. back to the 11. Exactly. Yes, it will. Block in the back. Good to see Armani Foreman in uniform again after taking a couple of weeks off. Yes, it is. To nurse an injury. Those that remember. A few years back, 1999, the last undefeated team from Texas City. They went on to finish 15-0 that year. Beat 15-0 in a game at, at the non-existent Cowboy Stadium. That's right, Texas Stadium where they beat the Hereford Heifers. I think that's what they're called. They had a cow for us mascot, I remember that. This actually was at the 22. It's actually not half the distance. I guess half the distance is from the spot is what it was. So it's actually at the six-yard line. Our statistician says it's the white faces, the Hereford white Herford faces. white faces. Thank you, B.J. Johnson. The herd. Yeah. <laughs> Allen under center. The pitch goes to Foreman. Foreman tries the left side of the line and quite a bit of resistance there. He'll pick up a yard, maybe two, up to the 13-yard line. Number 49, Martinez on the stop for Terry after a gain of two. Make it second and eight for the Stings. Allen has two receivers to the near side. He's rolling to the near side. Looks like he's going to put it up. Has a man open. Trace Rodriguez catches it at the 49-yard line across midfield. And that's a big first down. Rodriguez out there all by himself. Absolutely. Had to actually stop and wait for the ball to get there. Wide open was Rodriguez. At the 47-yard line is where they're going to mark him out. 42 yards on the pass and catch. Brilliant. I tell you what, as Allen rolled to the sideline, looked like he was going to tuck it and run, and saw Rodriguez out there all by himself. Rodriguez had already stopped because <laughs> he was so far out there by himself. Well, Allen had started to run enough that I double-checked to make sure he hadn't passed the line of scrimmage because <laughs> he, was, he was moving that way. But nice job, Texas City, first and ten. They're ready to go. This one goes to Nephi Hernandez. Hernandez does a nice job picking up three yards right up the gut. Ball placed at the near hash mark for second and seven for Texas City. Rodriguez will go to the near side. Full house backfield. Lots of folks back there. Two Foremans and a Lynch. <laughs> and this one doesn't fool the defense. Again, Brandon Martinez, a linebacker, number 49, a junior on the stop. Armani Foreman with the carry. Big number three again. Nice to see him back in action in a jersey. Been in uh, street clothes the last couple of weeks. So yard gain brings up third down. Same formation. And now Armani Foreman goes in motion to the far side. Looking to pass, has time, pocket breaks down. Now he's still got time. Flag on the play, and this one is going to be floated down and falls to the carpet incomplete intended for Monty Foreman. And again, flag comes down on the far side of the field at 
looks like probably to be in the area of holding. Good defense by Terry. He ended up the ball. He kind of, like you said, he floated it out to Armani and gave a second defender time to get there and just pretty much got sandwiched by Terry defenders. Illegal shift against Texas City. I would imagine they'll decline Yeah, it. initial signals from the coaches. They're going to decline it. <laughs> On the incompletion, they'll bring up fourth down. Looks like Texas City is going to be going for it here. Fourth and six. From the Terry 43-yard line. Big play early here in the game. Texas City going forward on fourth down. They need a strong six yards here. Looking to pass. Allen puts this one up. And it is way too far for Armani to get to. And this is a turnover on downs. And the Terry defense has held. Yes, they have. Big opening moral victory for Rosenberg Terry. Texas City giving them a couple of different looks than probably what they've seen on film over the last few games, actually the last uh, probably all season. Six plays in the drive. Stings go 52 yards and stall. Turnover on downs. Quarterback for the Rangers, number 10, Keyshawn McLean. And now we've got timeout called by the Rangers before the snap ever happens. We'll take the break as well. 9.24 to play in the first quarter. No score here from Rice Stadium. Back on the field after the Terry timeout. They were short a man. Now they're back, both teams ready. Again, number 10, Keyshawn McLean, their leading rusher, is the quarterback. Two men in the backfield behind him. Handoff. Boy, nice play. Immediately Foreman. Nothing Dante there. Foreman jumps in right across the line. Francois Bonilla comes in there to finish it off, but nice job. Ricky Blackburn was the ball carrier, and he lost three back to the 40-yard line. It'll be second and 13 for the Rangers. Ricky Blackburn and Nelson Williams, number six and number seven, in the backfield behind McLean. McLean, quick toss oh. outside and nod off his fingertips and falls harmlessly to the ground. A couple of stings right there. Pass intended for number 21. I tell you what. That's De Patrick Mosley. Devonta Hinton was right there. And as that ball was tipped, <laughs> he kind of threw some anxious moments over there on the far sidelines. <laughs> That'll bring up third down, third and 13 for the Rangers from their own 40-yard line. McLean, wide outs to either side. We've not seen the option on either play as well. Yeah. <laughs> Two plays, course, no option. Of course not. <laughs> Long snap count. McLean, take balls on the ground. McLean falls on wow. it. But he'll lose a couple of yards on third down. Actually going to, well, we'll call it two. Back to the 38. Right, right. Just never got his hand on the snap. That'll bring up fourth and 14. So both defenses hold on first possessions for Texas City and Rosenberg. And now the Rangers will have to punt. Three plays, they'll lose four yards on that possession. McLean, the punter as well for the Rangers. Armani Foreman back at his 27, 29 yard line. High snap, suspect gets it away. Foreman will take it, but he won't get anywhere. Number seven, Nelson Williams on the stop. I tell you, the security here, <laughs> it's a different venue. You uh, No clappers or you know, any of those kind of – they had to leave those at the – I think you talked about that earlier, but couldn't bring bells or clappers in, in, uh, in the stadium. It's just kind of a, a different 
different venue. <laughs> I guess you got to make the. It's hard. You, you're making noise with your hands tonight, and you got gloves and on. And it's cold. It's not very loud. Yeah. So, anyway. Texas City back, ready to go on offense. Their second time of the night. First and 10 from their own 26 yard line. The give this time to Lynch. And Martinez again. Brandon Martinez, a linebacker, in to make the stop. Lynch just gets one as he tries that right side of the line. Trace Rodriguez brings the play in. We'll get you those starters here in just a moment. Armani Foreman will split to the far side. Rodriguez to the near side. This time, Lynch gets the ball through the line of scrimmage, and he's hit in the secondary. He'll pick up about an additional three yards on the carry. Tough three yards. Ivan, Hen oh, excuse me, Ivan Hen Hinojosa yeah, on the uh -huh. stop. <laughs> Number one, a senior linebacker. Seems like it always takes a good – you know, well, not always. <laughs> the last few games has taken a, a quarter or two just to kind of feel the defense out, feel the offense out. Texas City has started very slowly here the last couple of games, and here it seems the same way, trying to just to take what they can get. Again, Foreman and Rodriguez, the wide receivers, has a little pressure. Foreman on the far side is complete at the 44-yard line. Brought down immediately by the Rangers. Number 27, that's Drake James, but not before the pass and catch for a first down. They're going to mark it at the 49-yard line, just a yard shy of the midfield stripe. Gain of 11 on the play. Actually, I'm sorry, I missed it by five. They're going to mark it at the 44. Still a first down, but at the 44-yard line. Pitch goes to the right side. Lynch has it round the corner, has a little bit of room, and he's just going to fight forward for an extra couple of yards and falls, actually falls forward for the first down. Gain of 10, gain of 11 on the play. Nice block on the corner to give him that extra yardage. So that'll be first down as Tech City puts it into – Terry territory. How about that? Ranger territory for the second time tonight. <laughs> Here's where the drive stalled earlier. Second drive of the night for the Stings. Second time into enemy territory. Allen looks to pass, has a man across the middle. He puts it up for grabs. Caught at the four-yard line and in for a touchdown. 50 Six yards. points. 50 yards away from the 45-yard line. A perfect strike from Andrew Allen. To our money foreman. When Welcome said, back, Mr. Foreman. Yes, sir. When you said perfect strike, you were right. I tell you what, Foreman just reached out. It was right there. He had a couple of steps, and by the time the ball got there, a couple had magnified to four or five steps on the defender. You know, Texas City came in a night's game, finishing the regular season with 2,000-yard rushers. Andrew Allen was only 56 yards away from having 1,000 yards in the air coming into the night. Extra point is good with 6-11 to play in the first quarter. Texas City takes the first lead, 7-0 over Rosenberg Terry. Chase Rodriguez, short kick taken by number six. That's Ricky Blackburn. Takes it across the 30 to the 32-yard line, and that's where the Terry Rangers will start their second possession of the night on offense. Corey Johnson, Allen Mull with a nice closing speed, not letting the uh, ball carrier scoot outside. Rangers come to the line of scrimmage. One man out wide here to the near side. That's Tyler Wilson, number 11. Number 10, Keyshawn McLean. The quarterback back split in the backfield. He'll run the option and gives it to the first man through. That was Ricky Blackburn, number six. He'll get a couple of yards. Call it a gain of three to the 35.
Tech State with 101 yards of offense on that drive. Excuse me, 100 yard, one yards on two drives. On that drive, took it from the 26. McLean again gives it to the first man through. He'll get a couple of yards to, to the 30. Actually, probably just a gain of one to the 33, 32. Right there, rather quickly, meeting Dante Hayes. Wilson, I'm sorry, Williams was the ball carrier. Nelson Williams. By the fourth quarter, I'll get their names. Uh, he's two last names. It, it's exactly. Tough to, That's the tough problem. to remember, yeah. Terry again with a big third down here. Third and five from their own 32-yard line. Have to call a timeout. Their second timeout of the half, and we'll take a timeout with them with 440 left in the first period. Tech City on top, 7-0. With 4.40 left to play in the first quarter, Rosenberg Terry comes to, from the timeout after burning their second timeout of the half. Quarterback on a keeper, cuts it upfield. He's got the first down, still on his feet. He'll go out of bounds just shy of the 50-yard line. That's Keyshawn McLean. Picks up the first down. Going into that play, uh, Terry had one yard of offense. They just... Uh, Added about 10 more to that. Jordan Coffey will get credit for the tackle. I tell you, that's really kind of the first time we've actually seen the little option play as we as you think about an option right. play. Actually, the quarterback keeps. And a nice, nice gain. Gain of 11 on the play. First and 10 for the Rangers from their own 48. Stings jump, but they get back. Now the handoff and a wide open 30. Well, he fooled everybody. 20, yes, he did. 10-5 touchdown, Rosenberg Terry. Right up the gut. That's, that's number six, Ricky Blackburn. 52 yards away. They hide that option well. They did that time. Keyshawn McLean gives it to him, goes down the line. But by the time Texas City realized who had the ball, Ricky Blackburn was in open field, and it was just a foot race that he won. Terry lines up in the swinging gate, but they'll come back now. Williams, I'm sorry, McLean to hold. Kick is up, and it is good. So with 4.16 to play in the first half, just like that, we're tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. We'll be right back. Roy Roca set to kick off after Rosenberg Terry ties it up with the 52-yard run by Ricky Blackburn. Foreman does nice little uh, hesitation moves and just too many white jerseys to try to outrun them or outmaneuver them. He will go down at Got the, the ball 14. at the six, and he made it up to the 14, and that's about it. So Texas City will start first and 10 at their own 14 with 4.05 to play in the first quarter. Allen under center. Gives to Foreman. Foreman, big hold up the middle. He'll pick up a good seven yards up to the 21-yard line. Drake James for the Rangers making the stop, number 27. But not before the seven-yard gain for Foreman. Puts it at second and three from the 21.
Armani Foreman goes in motion. Deontay gets the oh, call, oh, cuts nice to the move. left, right up the gut again. He'll pick up. It looks like 11, 11 yards again. Nice move by Foreman. He comes from the left side, cuts it to the middle, but only takes one step that way, then cuts back out to the left and found some running room. Tell you what, though, that's a scary-looking backfield. You look back there, you <laughs> see Andrew Allen, Donald Lynch, Armani Foreman, and Deontay Foreman all together. So back to the action. Allen again gives to Foreman. Foreman cuts it back. Sees resistance on the outside, so he cuts it back. I pick, up, hit, pick up five on the play. Ivan Hinojosa jumps on his back, and Foreman carries him a couple of yards. It'll be second and five. Zach Powell brings the play in from the sideline. Two minutes and 33 seconds left in our quarter here, first quarter here at Rice Stadium. Texas City 7, Terry 7. Texas City's third possession. First possession was a turnover on downs. Second possession was a touchdown. Foreman cuts it into the left side. Wow, almost stays on his feet as he rolls over. Nelson Williams pick made up, the first hit. Pick up six on the play. Up to the 40 Seven yard line. We'll almost call it seven. Clock stops to move the chains and then runs again. First and ten. The fake looking to pass. This one fake short and he's going long. He's open, has it at the ten yard line. I think he stepped out of bounds. Yep. At about the nine, eight, seven, six, <laughs> seven yard line. <laughs> Just ran out of sideline. Armani Foreman wide open. 45 Forward. yards on the catch. You know, it's just the thing you do when you see Andrew Allen wow. step back, the first thing you do is look downfield. And boy, the first time when I saw a look down, and Foreman has about five yards on the nearest defender. Three catches for 104 yards and a touchdown already. Two. One man. <laughs> yeah. Armani Foreman. Now first and goal for the Stings from the seven-yard line. Donald Lynch is the back. He gets the call, hit at the line of scrimmage, and he oh. wow, bullies forward. He's going to be giving forward progress. It takes three white jerseys to finally bring him down. I thought he actually got a little further than that, but they're going to mark him inside the three. So brings up second down, clock down due, under a minute and a half. Nilsson Williams and Kendall Oliver make the stop. Going to mark him down. His, yeah, I believe his knee was down as he was going in. Deontay Foreman, Deontay Foreman on the carry. Inside the one. So we'll call it a gain of two and – <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> it's all pretty tight in there. Now down under a minute left in the quarter. Texas looking to break this tie. You have to form and form easily. Tell you what, that left side just vacated. Well, I'm telling <laughs> they you. They have vacated. Nothing there but Foreman. Yes, sir. Touchdown, Texas City. With 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Started at the 14, so went 86 yards on the drive. Tate Smith with the snap. Andrew Allen with a hold. Aaron Clays with the good kick. That makes our score 14 to seven with just 45 seconds left in the first period. McLean. And Maxwell back deep for the Rangers. Taken at the six-yard line. Wow, nice coverage. Nice coverage. Dude, that was Maxwell on the carry. First man there was Xavier Simpson. 
Nice job of just hemming him in. That guy left him nowhere to go. Yeah. Thought as he set that up, thought they had some good blocks out front. And then as I turned back around, it was all black jerseys. Terry will have 26 seconds left here in the first quarter as they start this set of downs, first and 10 from their own 23-yard line. <clears throat> Tyler Wilson comes out wide to the near side for McLean. McLean will keep it, go right up the middle. He'll cross the 25 up to the 27. So a gain of four on first down. First man there is Torrick Cooper. Rangers will not run another play. They'll walk to the sidelines five seconds and counting to go in the quarter. We've played one quarter here at Rice Stadium in this bi-district action. Texas City on top, 14-7 to over Rosenberg Terry. We'll be right back. We've switched sides of the field. Rosenberg Terry ready to go to start the second quarter. Second and six from their own 27-yard line. McLean under center. Quick handoff to the first man through, and he'll get a couple of yards to the 29. Number six, Ricky Blackburn on the carry. Will bring up third and four. Third possession of the night for the Terry Rangers. Started off with a three and out and then four play drive that ended up with a touchdown. And here on their third drive. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. McLean going to keep it. Nice job by Texas City. Nothing doing there. Stopped just shy of the 30-yard line, or right at the 30 is McLean. Dante Hayes just did a little bulldogging, yeah, a little rodeo did. time down there. Got him right, just at the right place. I was a little nervous. I was kind of watching for flags. Yeah, watch for the referee's hand. I looked yeah. right and looked immediately to see if he was going to go for the flag or Got not. Got him up there around that collar, but no harm, no foul, no flag, and it's fourth down. Fourth and three for Terry, and they'll bring the punt team on from their own 27-yard line. Now it's only fourth and four. You really wouldn't think they would take a chance this deep in their own territory, but you just never know. McLean to punt. McLean. Kicks this one a little bit away from Foreman. It'll roll down inside the 35 and be stopped at the 34. So that's where Texas City will have it for their first possession of the second quarter. First and 10 at their own 34-yard line. 36 yards on the punt. With no return, I guess that's – that's exactly what you want if you're punting against Texas City. That's Just right. Give me no return. So the Stings to the line. Trace Rodriguez is on the far side. Armani Foreman is split to the near side. Lynch is the halfback, tailback. This one is to the near side to Foreman. Foreman tries to get make a move and get away from a tackle. Ivan Hinojosa pushes him out of bounds. Going to mark it at the 47. So he gets credit. Looks like 13, 13 yards yard. to yep. Yep. It took me a while to add that up. Man, I'll tell you <laughs> what. Chains move as the Stingerys come back to the line of scrimmage. This one goes to the tailback, tailback Donald Lynch, and he just gets popped. Hinojosa stuck a hand out there and got him just at the right place. Boy, he kind of looked kind of scary as he as he hit him. Thought his <laughs> thought he might have hyper extended extended his knee or something yeah. like. It just kind of looked like he fell funny, but he doesn't get up with a limp. Fortunately, 
Loss of a couple will make it second and 12 for Texas City. The line of scrimmage, their own 40-yard line. First negative play of the night for Texas City. Loss of two on the play. So it'll be second down and 12. Long snap count, fake, looking to pass. Has some pressure, having to run away from the pressure. Just throws that one away. Because he was uh, chased down. Yes, he was. From behind. I believe that's 49. That's Brandon Martinez again. He's been all over the field in the first quarter. Good presence of mind by Allen. Just get rid of it. Don't lose the yardage. So third and 12. I think they may have gained a half a yard on the incomplete pass. <laughs> looking, looking, faking. He's going to keep. Well short of the first down. Dominique Thomas, number nine. Picked up four. About a yard short of midfield, but he needed 12. So that's going to bring on, uh, we think, bring on Trace Rodriguez for his first punt of the night. Maxwell and McLean back deep. Rodriguez punts this one. He's going to land out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Takes a sharp right turn as it hits the turf. Actually, looks like they're going to mark it at the 21. So first and 10 for the Terry Rangers. 8-21 to play in the first half. Sting's holding on to that 14-7 lead. Tech City's drives turnover on downs, touchdown, touchdown, and punt. Terry's drives, punt, touchdown, and punt as they start here at the 21-yard line. McLean keeps it. I tell you what, that, that play was going nowhere. Yeah, lost the yard. Again, Dante Hayes, nice job of closing in. From his tight end spot, excuse me, defensive end spot. That loss of one makes it second and 11. From the 20, the Rangers on 20. They'll break the huddle and send one man wide out here to the near side. That's Tyler Wilson. Two men in the backfield for McLean. Fires it downfield and caught by Wilson. What a very nice timing route. That ball was put in play, laid out for Wilson really before he made the turn. And about it, just where they needed it, a yard in by, advance of the sticks right, for a first down. By 12 yards on the catch. And like you say, a first down. I believe only their second first down of the uh, of the game had a first down on the touchdown drive. Only needed one on that drive after a 50 before a 52 yard run. Rangers to the line of scrimmage from their own 32, first and 10. Handoff up the middle it gets hit right as he gets the ball, and he'll fight for a, actually a nice tough three yards for Ricky Blackburn. Well, Corey Robinson plugged the hole and uh, definitely slowed him down. Francois Bonilla was able to help clean it up along with Tork Cooper. Second and seven. Still picked up three right up the gut. McLean's going to keep it himself and just step to the right of center and go forward. He'll get a yard to the 36, and that'll be it. Francois Bonilla, Jimmy Butler in there. 
for the stop. Brings up third down. Looked like it picked up maybe a yard on the play. Third and six. From the Terry 35-yard line. McLean's going to keep it. Gets tripped up as he falls forward to the 40. Doesn't matter. Actually, I don't see a flag. I really thought I Texas City I cannot believe there wasn't a flag. Sides. He definitely was off sides. Wow. How did he get back? The quickness of Texas there City. There is no flag. <laughs> there You're is right. not one. Wow. It's fourth down. Wow. Fourth and two from the 40. I thought it was a free look through the binoculars, and I just for sure <laughs> thought it was just a free play. So McLean will step back into punt formation for the Rangers. Armani Foreman standing back inside his own 30 at the 29. S snap has been a little suspect. Not sure when Tex A will mount a, a rush, but they don't that time. This one takes a really nice Terry bounce. Be down at the 11. So Texas City will have it right there at their own 11 yard line. 49 yard kick. A nice little five minute 89 yard drive would be I, okay. I, I wouldn't mind a 30 second. <laughs> or yeah. even a 14 second drive would be nice for me. <laughs> But you're right, five minute and 12 seconds, that would work. Stings come to the line. Rodriguez split wide, Cervic in the slot. And Foreman will get the ball. Crosses over the 15 yard line. He'd be stopped right there at the 17. So a gain of six on the play for Foreman. Howard, Kellen Howard on the stop. Stings have not had great field possession. This is pretty well, I, it's been a long time I remember if they've had, they started at the six, 26, 14, 34, and now the 11. Have started way deep each possession. Foreman gets the call again to the left side. Not much running room there. Right into the pile for him. May pick up a couple up to the 19. So that'll bring up third down and a, I'll call it third and two, third and a long two. A 4.15 on the clock now. So we burnt a minute of that time. Armani Foreman splits to the far side. Rodriguez to the near side. Deontay Foreman gets the call. Big hole. Slips out of a tackle. He's at the 35, the 40. No one near. He's going to have a foot race, but he's got it won. 20, 10, no yellow flags. And from 81 yards away, Deontay Foreman, welcome to Rice Stadium. <laughs> there you go. Nice run. Broke that tackle about five yards past the line of scrimmage, and it was all over from there. So I guess I got my minute and 30-second drive. Yeah, we kind of compromised. <laughs> I said five minutes. You were saying 13 <laughs> seconds. So, <laughs> but I'll take it, too. You know, it's okay. <clears throat> was that uh, – they didn't have a first down either. That was third down? That's right. That it was a three-play drive. Third and a couple. Tate Smith with a snap, Andrew Allen with a hold, Aaron Clays with the good extra point. Texie on top, 21 to seven with three minutes and 45 seconds left in the half. Texas City set to kick off. Maxwell and McLean again back deep for the Rangers. A nice strong kick. Taken at the eight yard line. Maxwell not finding much room to run as he gets it up to the 25 and that's it. It's been one thing I've been noticed in Texas City that 
punt coverage, I mean, a kickoff coverage team has just seemed like they're just covering the lanes better than ever. Been, been discrepancies here throughout the se season, just a couple of times through the season. A great job. They've done a great job tonight already. Robert Frank in on the stop for Texas City. So Terry with the ball, first and 10 at their own 25 with 339 to play in the first half. Stings with a 21 to seven lead as Terry sends two wide outs to the far side on first down. McLean gonna ball keep it. on the ground. Oh, it is on the ground. Texas City has it. Nope, nope, Texas City had it. I think it's recovered. Oh, yeah. It was been it has been fumbled around like a ball in the backyard. I tell you what, he, he, it was all over the place, in and out. And the Rangers come back up with it. It was in a couple of hands, I could tell you. Uh, number 67, George Vela comes up with uh, the ball. He looked like he was trying to pitch and trying not to pitch. That's the second fumble of the night for the Rangers and actually the second one they fall back on. A loss of Very six. Very fortunate. Yeah, back to the 19. Second and 16. McLean rolls here to the near side looking to throw. Has it, fires it downfield, pass incomplete. I tell you, I thought he had it. Wilson he, just couldn't hang on well, to it. He's a nice, has some nice hands, but came out of his hands when he hit the turf. He is their leading receiver. He's caught 10 passes for 173 yards on the season. But that incomplete pass will bring up third and long, third and 16. Rangers need to get it up to their own 35-yard line for the first down. McLean keeps it. Actually, he does hand it off. I couldn't tell they were both out there together. Blackburn yeah, actually gets the ball. He got rid of it late, didn't he? Torque Cooper was right there. As soon as he handed that ball off, Cooper was right there to grab a hold of him. Ran him sideways for a couple of yards. Actually picks Game up three, about three, yeah. yeah. And that'll bring up fourth down and a timeout on the field. Texas timeout City. Texas City. They'll take the timeout with 2.38 to play. Stings on top, 21-7. to seven. Keyshawn McLean back in punt formation, standing at his own nine-yard line. Two minutes and 38 seconds left in the half. It, it seems like it's flown by, Ronnie. It, it has. We started 30 minutes later than we normally do with a 7.30 start. Terry with 89 total yards of rushing. You know, 52 of that came on one play. That's right. McLean gets this one high in the air. Fair catch is called for and taken at the 43-yard line by Foreman. This will be the best Got starting. Got a flag on the field back at the 35-yard well, line. May even be better. No, it's usually not for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be worse. Holding against Texas City. Must have been on the run back. But there wasn't a run back. It no was fair back. hit. That's yeah. right. They'll mark it off from where Foreman. I just fix to the say this is the best starting field position of the night. Well, and now <laughs> guess can't what? Say it. Well, actually, you know what? No. It's close. The best was the 34 so far. And it'll be first and 10 Texas City at their own 33. With two minutes and 31 seconds left in the half, Texas City will go to work here. Trace Rodriguez, the near side. Amani Foreman in the slot. Donald Lynch in motion to the near side. So you got all three fellows over here. Going to get this one long. Foreman has it. Oh, in and out of his hands. Excuse me, that's not Foreman. That's Rodriguez. What? Rodriguez across the middle of the field. That was an incredible effort by Trace Rodriguez. Thrown over the other shoulder than he was expecting it. 
and still almost came up with it. Not for sure how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pass falls incomplete, stops the clock with 2.24 to play in the half. Nafi Hernandez and Deontay Foreman in the backfield. Zach Powell to the far side, and Armani Foreman goes in motion to the near side. This one will go to Armani Foreman Got on the some reverse. Room. Has the other side. He's at the 40. Jukes and Jaws gets it out of bounds as he stretches across for the first down. No, well, I was going to say, referee looked like he's uh, – He said he was he in stadium he was in, bounds. Yeah, but he, he stopped actually, the clock for the first down. Yeah. Looks like he stretched that ball out. He stretched it out. I'm not sure what they're looking at, but he stretched it out <laughs> well past the first down yeah. marker. And they're going to motion for the first down. So, a gain of 10 on the reverse. Uh, 2.13, now clock continues to run, as, as Ronnie said. Rodriguez to the far side, Foreman to the near side. This one goes to Lynch. Lynch gets it to the near side, and he'll be tackled across midfield all the way down to the 42. As and we've seen all year long, nice lead block by Nephew Hernandez to give him the corner. Fifteen yards on the carry. Williams on the stop for the Rangers. Clock stops to move the chains and then continues. Foreman to the far side. Rodriguez to the near side. Fullback is Lynch. Fake to Lynch. Across is received. Caught there by Tres Rodriguez at the 27-yard line. Clock He's about five stop. yards past the sticks. So that's, that's right. So first down and 15 yards. Clock will stop while they move the chains. Texas City quickly huddling up. And now we've got a little chain issue. Officials timeout. Which helps Texas City. <laughs> They're having trouble with those chains. It doesn't look like a chain. It looks like it's a, a cord. But the cord or chain staying tied on the uh, on the marker. Remember last <laughs> last week? I think we got cheated out of a first down. Uh, that's that? right. The thing yeah. came off. You know, not cheated. We'd never get cheated. <laughs> but you know what I mean. So the good thing is, like I say, the clock stops. That's right. Tech City didn't have to use a timeout. A minute and a half left. Minute thirty-two. First and ten for Texas City from the Terry twenty-eight yard line. Foreman to the far side. Rodriguez in the slot. Lynch goes in motion to that side. Across the middle. Caught. That one is Lynch across the middle, and a collision took place, and the defender's the one staying down. Nice catch. Lynch goes up, takes a beating for it. 20 yards on the catch right over the middle. Well, I'm telling Woo. you, McLean makes the stop, but, yeah, knowing he was going to get hit, as that ball came into him, but he held on. Now it's first and goal from the eight. Minute 14, clock ticking down. Zach Powell, Foreman this time. Lynch gets the call, cuts it oh. back. Oh, he's brought down as he crosses the line of scrimmage almost to the five-yard line. He'll pick up three. There was a defensive lineman for Terry that knew he had a stop in the backfield. <laughs> and next thing you know, he's tackling air. Timeout, Texas City. we got 55 seconds left in the half. Texas City knocking on the door, 21-7 to over Terry. 55 seconds left on the clock. Texas City looking at a second and goal from the five. And they do have another timeout left. Texas City has one. Terry has one. Lynch and Hernandez in the backfield. Lynch gets the pitch. He's hit, ah. brought down at the two. Falls forward actually to the one. And that's going to bring up third down. Third down and one. 
Brandon Martinez on the stop as Texas City calls their timeout. third and final timeout with 44 seconds left in the half. We'll take the break as well. Stings on top, 21-7. to seven. Texas City back after the timeout. Third and goal from the one. Andrew Allen takes it himself. Across the left side, takes his time. Slips it in for six from one away. Nice job by the Stings. Using the clock, using their timeouts, and putting six more on the board with 41 seconds to play in the half. Seems to be some conversation among the officials and the linemen. The linemen of Texas City. And then you've got another official talking to a group of about five or six Rosenberg Terry players over about three yards deep in the end zone. Uh, sure if they're having a Bible study or what? <laughs> Tate Smith with the snap. Andrew Allen holds. Aaron Clays with a sure foot makes it good. Texas City 28, Rosenberg Terry 7. We've still got 41 seconds left here in the first period. Trace Rodriguez set to kick off to Maxwell and McLean. After Texas City puts seven more on the board, taking a pretty commanding 28 to seven lead here with just over 40 seconds to play in the half. Rodriguez kick. This one's going to bounce out of bounds at about the seven, eight yard line. Looks like Terry's going to exercise the option and have Texas City kick it again. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. It, it could go either way. That's right. <laughs> that was that was pretty. Uh, that, that's a, that was a good statement. Uh, it's very madness, I guess. Mad yeah, well, I, I mean, there's no comparison, I'm sure, but 41 seconds left in the half. You know, it was a half was going pretty fast a while ago. It seemed like it <laughs> yeah. slowed. We've scored twice since then. That's true. Rodriguez will try it again from the 35. A little switcheroni on the in the backfield. Got the receivers changing sides, and now Rodriguez looks probably just going to pooch this one. And he does, taken at the 27-yard line. Moving across the field, got some running room. Donald Lynch takes him out at the 43-yard line. Nilsson Williams on the what, return. That was definitely a good decision by the Rangers. Yes, it was. They've got a timeout. From 43 yards away, they've got a, a timeout in 30 seconds, 32 seconds to burn. On the downhill side. McLean under center with one wide out here to the near side. He'll roll this way. Looking to throw, getting some pressure. He'll keep it. It's across the 40. He'll go out of bounds at the 35, 34 yard line. Going to mark him about a yard shy of the first down, yeah. so a gain of nine. Nine yards on the pickup by McLean. Went out of bounds, burned just about, what, 10 seconds off the clock, I guess. It's 25.
Terry to the line of scrimmage. Second and one from the Texas City 28-yard line. Williams looking to throw again. He'll fire it out to the far side. Caught. Wow, nice, nice job. Absolutely. That, looking for the number. Tell you what, that's Nathan Stahl fights through a block and makes the tackle for loss. Loss of three. Boy, Stahl. Unbelievable. That's a clutch play right there because there was nobody behind him. That's right. Stahl does a great job, and Terry has to burn that last time out. That's a perfect example of staying at home and doing your job. That's what Nathan did. He just did his job. You see, the, the play was designed to fake on this side. He had two receivers yelling for the ball. And that's right. McLean just turns the other way, and there's nobody there but the receiver, and Stahl fights off the block and makes the stop. Again, great job. Loss back to the 37. So a loss of three on that play. Make it third third and four, more importantly, or just as important, 16 seconds is all that's left in the half. I'd say I had to burn that time out because even though the pass was complete, it was a, a loss, no first down gained. So if they got any tricks up their sleeve, I'm sure this will be the time that you'll see them. Complete. Fires it out and it's caught. Tyler Wilson with the catch, number 11. And, we've and got sting, a sting stays yeah. down. You hate to see that. Number three. Armani Foreman is down. So with the timeout, we'll go ahead and take the break. Ten seconds left in the half. We'll be back in just a minute. Stings on top, 28-7. to seven. McLean and the Rangers back ready to go with ten seconds left. First and ten from the Stingery 24-yard line as Armani Foreman comes off the sideline with the injury. Fired downfield, Wide. caught inside the five. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Wide open down the middle. With no timeouts, Terry will have to quickly get to the line of scrimmage. Three seconds left. McLean takes the snap, throws it to the ground, and stops the clock with two ticks left. That was number seven. Nelson Williams comes across the middle for a big game. And now the Rangers have one play One play left. From play clock. They still haven't chopped the clock in. It's giving them an, yeah. <laughs> an unbelievable. It's almost like a timeout. From the one-yard line, Sting fans on their feet imploring the defense, make one stop. Quickly to the line of scrimmage from the huddle come the Rangers. McLean going to keep it. I don't believe he's going to get in. He stopped. No, he did not. At just no, he before did not. the goal line. Great job by the Texas City defense to keep the Terry Rangers out. Wow. Big stand. Big stand. Get on your side of the field, though. Get over here. <laughs> we'll go to halftime after the defensive stand by the Stingerees. <laughs> Texas City <laughs> on top, 28-7 to over Rosenberg Terry. Don't go away. We've got halftime. Entertainment for you from the Texas City High School Band and Stingerettes in just a second.
ladies and gentlemen, Texas City High School proudly presents the Stingerette Dance Team. The Stingerette are the field director of the following dance officers. Senior Lieutenant, Larissa Allen. Junior Lieutenant, Cameron Cotton. Senior Lieutenant, Cassie Ivey. Lieutenant Colonel, Michaela Clay. Colonel, Sarah Hodges. Senior Red Social Officer include President, Kara Dean. Secretary, Rosie Diaz. Treasurer, Sarah Eastman. Historian, Megan Newman. The Senior Red Teacher of the Week is Ms. Bacher. The Senior Red Principal of the Week is Courtney Williams. The Senior Red Dancer of the Week is Melissa Bird. The Senior Red will be coming from a home to the new collection of Mixed. The Senior Reds are in the direction of directors Ashley Hardis and Lindsay Owens. from Texas City, Texas, the award-winning Texas City High School Sting Marching Band. The band has enjoyed an incredible season, including taking second place at the Labar Consolidated Marching Festival, superior rating at all game marching festivals in the nation, Texas City ISB Marching Festival, and the Region 17 UIL Marching Contest. The band concluded their season as an Area F marching finalist. This is a marching contest by only four spots. Drum Major, is your band ready? Hold on, what's going on down there? A super villain just took off with our Drake Major hat. Is there anyone who can help us? What's that? Party, it's to your left. Can it be the King Crusader? Can it be the Dark Knight? It sure is. Batman is here to help us. Help us, Batman. away. Surely there must be someone out there who can save us. Wait, who is that? Could it be? Super Dark Major Guy! Oh, thank you, Super Dark Major Guy, for saving us from that evil hat villain. 
Citizens Lincoln rest assured now that the villain has been apprehended and justice has been served. Now it's time to party! Scenery fans, get on your feet and celebrate with us. Leading us in the party rock anthem, your Texas City Color Guard and your Texas City High School cigarettes. As Texas City comes back on the field after halftime, Dennis, it's a little bit like deja vu. Sting's back on the field and no sign of – oh, there they are over there. There they go. Okay, they already – did they even go up the stairs at halftime? They did go up the stairs I missed, at halftime. I forgot yeah, to did. watch them. They are yeah. back <clears throat> waiting them to come on the field. Sting's up 28-7 to after a, I guess you'd say, a typical start for Texas City. It seemed a little slow like they have several times this year. Well, we're they, sitting with 28 points at halftime, and it seems like <laughs> most of the time it's 14. Or, or, but, I mean, we're, we, we have a good point total. It's, 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 uh, it's nice. Texas City's averaging 47.9 points a game, so they're halfway there, a little over halfway there. <clears throat> Stings. Yeah, how you say you're averaging 47, 48 points a game is what you said? Yes. Yeah. I came up with 479 points on the year with 10 games. So. They're right at their average, too. They average uh, just under 14 points in the first half and just over under 15 points the second half. And so right right here at the average. It's an average game. I tell you what, <laughs> total, <laughs> total well, yards. A Andrew Allen is, is 7 for 11. He has really been on tonight. Ball's right on the money. Uh, and he is uh, 7 for 11 for 193 yards. And uh, that's 64% complete. Uh, completion ratio. Well, like I said, uh, I think I said sometime in the first quarter, Tech City, as we all know, Tech City came into the night with 2,000-yard rushers. Andrew Allen finished the 10-game season with 942 yards in the air, so he only needed, what's that, uh, 658 yards, yards yeah. to so go over 1,000. So now he's gone over 1,000 yard yards passing. Yeah. So you've got 2,000-yard rushers, 1,000-yard passer, and hopefully – the season is the second season is young. Right, Deontay Foreman has ten carries for 124 yards. Donald Lynch had two touchdowns. Donald Lynch eight carries for 39 yards. So I tell you, Tech City has uh, look into passing. Three catches for Amani Foreman for 104 yards and a touchdown. Two catches for Rodriguez as this second half is underway. McLean gets the ball at the five yard line. It's across the 20, and he'll get tripped up there and falls forward for a couple of more yards. Actually, that was Maxwell on the return. Boy, looking at Texas City's roster, the print's gotten much smaller <laughs> this week as they <laughs> brought a, a lot. Folks, yes, yeah. they have brought a lot of kids up from the JV team. Great opportunity for them to get some playoff experience and suit up with the varsity. First play from scrimmage, fat pass thrown out here in the near side. That's complete to Tyler Wilson. Pass is complete to 
be a gain of about five. Devontae Hinton and Donna Lynch on the stop for Texas City. Second and five. Texas City, of course, in the home black, the uh, home team tonight. Kind of nice for them and everybody else to hear that familiar voice of Mr. Jay Campbell. On yes, the PA. it is. Nice, nice to be home. Big rush Sack. and Nathan down Stahl. goes McLean. Nope, sorry, not Nathan Stahl. I called it too quick. That's Cameron Marino. Big sack. All loss the way of, back to the 20. Call it loss of eight. Talking about hometown. Uh, home, I just noticed at halftime. I didn't. I, I saw it before, but I didn't really think about it. Along the end zones on our side of the field, you have the players' pictures just like they are in our end zone right. in Texas City. So, uh, again, more of a, a home home game feel. And Gulf Coast, uh, Gulf Coast umpires. How as about well. that? Officials. Third and 13 now. McLean looking to throw, but now he's going to tuck it and run. He sees some daylight, and he's found it. He'll be oh, he'll second effort. He'll get the first down across the 30, across the 33 where the sticks were, and he'll get about a yard more. Nathan Stahl brings him down, but not before, like you say, he picks up 14. 14 Needed and 13 down. and got 14. Big first down for the Rangers to keep this drive, this first drive of the second half alive. Big, big, <laughs> big. Goal line stand for Texas City to end the first quarter. I tell you, they came up big on that one. So, Terry looking to try to get some momentum back here as the second half starts. McLean hands off, but it's pitched right back to him and now firing it downfield. Caught and couldn't keep his feet as Tyler Wilson. But the tomfoolery works to perfection. 31 yards on the pitch and catch. For the Rangers, and to tell you what, it was almost foiled in the backfield. Had a man there, but just couldn't get a hand on him. First and ten now for the Rangers at the Texas City 35-yard line. Again, Rangers momentum, trying to get it on their side. They're down 28 to seven, trying just like you said, anything and everything to get back in this ball game. Now McLean fires it downfield. He's got a man open again. Another first down, fighting forward across the 20 down to the 19-yard line. Zach Powell, the one that holds on, really kind of gives Zach Powell a ride for the last six or seven yards. Gain of 17 on the play. Maxwell, the receiver. I'll tell you what. The Terry Rangers, after a little struggle on the first couple of plays, had a sack set back, and since then they have been on fire. Texas City takes a timeout. Talk about it a little bit. We'll take the break as well. 9.48 to play in the third quarter. Texas City 28, Terry 7. Both teams back on the field after the timeout. Terry moving down the field. They're looking at a first and 10 from the Stingery 19-yard line. Coach Cervic and the Stings called a timeout. Try and stop this momentum. And now McLean from the shotgun rolls to the far side. He's going to run it, and he'll go out of bounds at the 15. A gain of a couple. Got a nice block on the corner. And a little read by the quarterback. Actually a gain of the corner. Yep. Yeah, actually a gain of four. 6 play of the drive, and they are on the move. Of course, you know, you're glad just to see one go for four rather than 15 or 17. Yeah, exactly. One wide out to the far side, two here to the near side as McLean will stay in the shotgun, takes a snap, throws it to this near side, and nobody home. Not sure if the receivers were on the right page. Ball thrown short. Kind of thrown in between the two receivers. And Quarterback comes over and has a conversation with him. It's the first incompletion of the half. That'll make it third and five. I always say quarterback went to the inside receiver, thought he might have kept on going, thought he might have sat down there. But I tell you, that three defenders in the area, he's lucky that thing didn't get picked That's off. That's right. Well, Texas City ended the first half with a great, 
goal line stand at the one-yard line, stop Terry from scoring. It would be nice to start this third quarter in much the same fashion, stop this drive. That pass in and out of the hands of the receiver, and nice defense there by Texas City. Well defended by Texas City's Corey Johnson, and that will bring up fourth down for the Rangers. Wilson, the intended receiver, broken up, and that will make it fourth down, fourth and six from the Texas City 15. Got to get down to the nine for a first down. It's like the offense is staying on the field. Two wideouts to either side, one man in the backfield. McLean rolls this way, fires it out, incomplete. Intended for number three, Michael Maxwell. He can't hold on to it. He would not have had the first down anyway. No, he would Defenders wouldn't. right on him. You're right, Nathan Stahl right there behind him. So nice defense by Texas City. Stiffens up there towards the end, and the Stings take over on downs. First and ten. That drive started at the 24-yard line. They drove the length of the field all the way down. Stalls at the 15. So nice drive. Of course, you hate to walk away. If you're Terry, you hate to walk away from a drive like that. Well, with right. Nothing on the board. What's that, 61 yards? Yes. They move the ball and come up with nothing. Now Texas City has it first and 10 at their own 15. Nephew Hernandez and Donald Lynch in the backfield. Lynch gets the call, cuts it outside, has the corner at the 20. Going to be brought down at the 25. Nice gain of, we'll call it actually 26, gain of 11. Donald Lynch. Number 27, Drake James on the stop. Got some help from Nelson Williams. Lynch nine carries for 50 yards. <laughs> uh, five and a half yards a carry. Got 11 on that one. Armani Foreman to the wide of the far side. Trace Rodriguez to the near. Lynch again. Now let's try the left side. A little tougher sledding on the left side. He'll pick up four up to the 30. Zach Garcia makes the tackle for Terry. You know, Lynch took his time, took all season, and waited until yeah, that last, last game, game to get his 1,000 yards. But, Dang. well, what a great year both he and Deontay Foreman had from that tailback slot. And a lot of that credit, and I guarantee you they'll do the same. They'll give it to their, their up backs, Tork Cooper and Nephew Hernandez, leading the way most of the time for those guys. Fake to Lynch, sets it up, puts it up, just out of reach. Intended for Foreman. Foreman got held a little bit right at the end, but officials going to call that one even if it was. Yep, he does. He's he calls it uncatchable. It, yeah. it, it is uncatchable when you got when a hold held, of him. You hadn't well, seen this kid run, <laughs> I'm telling you. Say, not able to outrun him when you have a hold of him. <laughs> Third and seven. Actually, third and six. Lynch gets the call, tries to change his direction. Has it knocked out of bounds at the 37, right at the down marker. I think he's got it. Yes, he does. Had to get to the 36. He got to the 37. Out of bounds there. First down, Texas City. Troy Washington makes the stop for Terry, but like Dennis said, not before the chains move. Lynch knew right where he needed to go, and he got it. His 11th carry of the night, <clears throat> 61 yards. Rodriguez and Cervic on the far side. Lynch gets the call, tries to hit in that left side of the line, and there is nothing but sea of white there. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. He'll lose a yard. Got 
kind of disheartening when you get the ball and all you see is the other team's jerseys. When you can't even get your first you foot forward, yeah, yeah, makes it makes it tough. Manuel Campos was the first white jersey there for the Rangers, and it'll be second and 11 for Texas City. Texas City here, their first possession of the half. Allen gets pressured, puts this one up, and almost caught by the referee. Yeah. Allen it had pressure from both sides. Did a very good job of just getting rid of getting that rid one, of it, exactly. and there was there was receivers right there. That'll bring up third and long, third and 11. Allen's second pass of the half, both falling incomplete. That one due to pressure. First one due to a, quote, air quote, uncatchable ball. <laughs> so third and 11 for Texas City. Fake to Lynch, got three receivers on the near side, has one open in the middle. We're going to go long. Rodriguez goes up, and nice defense given by big number 11. Excuse me, 21, coming across just the right time. Well, going for it all, had a man open, cut across the middle of the field, just didn't see him. Allen didn't see him and tried to get it all downfield. So that will bring up fourth, fourth down, fourth and 11. Maxwell and McLean. Actually, Maxwell will be by himself back deep, standing at about his own 28-yard line, ready to receive this punt from Trace Rodriguez. Got contact yep. on the punter. There's a flag down. The question is, is it going to be personal foul? No, he's giving him a five. Yep. Five yards will make it fourth down and... Six. Six. Yeah. And I believe they'll just keep it. looks like they're going to keep it there. That's right. Texas City has declined. Running into the kicker rather than a personal foul. So that's the way it'll stay. Punt will be downed at the 28-yard line. That's where... The Rangers will begin with their second possession of the half. Well, you know, not many places in Houston you can sit in. I mean, this, when you stop and look around this stadium, you're sitting here in the press box looking to the east. You've got to your right, like, like you talked about earlier, the medical center with all of its glory and all the buildings and stuff. Then you look to your left on the other side of the stands, and there's downtown Houston. Unreal. Yeah. It really is nice. Great venue. Also, really nice baseball park here that has the same kind of views yeah. at Reckling. And tons of history here, too, Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. From the shotgun, McLean will roll to the far side. Fires it out downfield. And caught right at the first down marker. That's Tyler Wilson again with the catch right off the turf. Tyler Wilson is definitely the go-to guy for these Rangers, and he just seems to come up with the clutch catches. He'll get 11 yards on that one. They drove the ball 61 yards before turning it over on downs at the 15 on their first possession of the half. And they're on the move again already. This one going long. Nice, nice. defense by Texas City. Defended by Zach Powell. Zach Powell had position, thought he might be able to come down with it. With an interception, actually. From the shotgun, McLean just took about two more steps back and quickly fired it downfield. I believe that was Hinojosa, the intended receiver. Eight attempts, four for eight here in the second half. Fifteen attempts on the game. Again from the shotgun. Fires it in the open to an open man. Still running in and out. I believe that's Maxwell. Maxwell gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. They're going to mark him at the 31. 
30 yards on the play. I tell you what, three receivers went short, five yards deep. Texas City was in a deep coverage, <clears throat> more of a prevent kind of defense. And I tell you what, underneath, once he got the ball, he scooted and scampered. Yes, he did. Big gain, gain of 30 for the Rangers, and they are definitely on the move. Third play of the drive here, fourth McLean play of the drive here. McLean will go under center now. Handoff to the first man through. Still on his feet, he fights up off of a tackle and gets inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Francois Bonilla way out there. <laughs> you don't see Francois making too many tackles way out there, but he did. Nice that, job of staying with it. That was number six, Ricky Blackburn on the carry. 13 on the ca on the carry. on the Yep, right up the gut. First man through. So just like that, tell you what, Rosenberg Terry has figured out how to move the ball. Now they're in the red zone, inside the 20, ball at the 18. McLean rolls this way, stops, throws downfield here to the near side, intercepted. intercepted. Brought Foreman. Got Armani Foreman. Nice job, wow. Armani Foreman picks it off. At about the five-yard five line. Five-yard line. Takes it all the way back down. Inside the inside the 30, 25-yard line. Whoa, baby. 72 <laughs> yards on the interception return. You're right. 72 yards on the return for Amani Foreman. That's Foreman's sixth interception of the season, had five in the regular season. So <laughs> just like that, and yeah. just totally flipped the field. Texas City first and 10. Ball at the 23. Carry up the middle, Torque Cooper. He'll pick up five on the carry. Williams on the stop for Terry. Well, you know, this. I was just going to say, when you said Terry in the red zone again, I was thinking, boy, they have really been good this second half between the 20s. Exactly. You're right. Turnover and down and, and, turnover down and interception inside the red zone. This one goes to Foreman. Foreman takes Cuts a cut. Cuts it up. Five. Wow. Barely even touched from 19 yards away. Touchdown, Texas City. Deontay Foreman, touchdown number three of the night. Well, he just – great vision as he cuts a couple of times looking for the open field, finds it like he has all season and goes in, like you said, virtually untouched. Two plays, 23 yards. Tate Smith with the snap. Nice job by Andrew Allen to pick it up, put it down for Aaron Clays, and the extra point was no good. Missed. I thought it went through. Through the near side. Wow. So 5-21 to play in the third quarter. Texas City has extended their lead 34-7 over Rosenberg Terry. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a minute. Trace Rodriguez set to kick off. Maxwell and McLean back for the Rangers. As Texas City takes advantage of the Armani Foreman interception. Kickoff taken at the 20. I believe that's Nelson Williams, number seven. On the return. Looks like we have a stingery down over on the Terry sideline. Nathan Stahl is down, and he was in on the tackle. Can't tell what area, what they're working on. While we've got a minute during the timeout, want to make sure you know that we appreciate you listening, watching these games on Comcast, on Stingery TV, Channel 18, and also on the TC Stings Football YouTube site. We're here to bring you all the action all season long, all playoff season long. 
great job by the audio video technology department at Texas City High School tonight working working the cameras and the, everything that goes along with bringing you this production. Tyler Parrish, Justin Martinez, David Wilson, Alex Garza, and their coach, Daryl Hannes. I think Nathan just thought maybe the training staff and Coach Servick needed a little break from the sideline and had him walk across. Nathan looked like everything's fine. Just as he got there, just, or they got there. They got there, looked at him a little bit. He stayed down there just to kind of make it all work out all right. <laughs> walking off under his own power. Well, if he doesn't walk off under his own, they might not let him come back in next play. And yeah. The way Nathan likes to fight and scrap on defense, he wants in there. We're ready to go first and ten for the Terry Rangers from their own 39-yard line. Yeah, McLean will go back in the shotgun. The thing about this game has been fairly penalty-free and fairly turnover-free until just now, the first turnover of the game. McLean fires it downfield, caught, and immediately out of bounds goes Tyler Wilson. Donald Lynch with the defense. A little scary. Donald Lynch got there rather quick, and Wilson almost he, turned out of it. He did. Gain of four will make it second and six. The Tech City on top, 34-7. Scored one touchdown here in the second half. We've got four minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. We just kind of want that clock just to keep on running. <laughs> McLean directing traffic as they break the huddle. He'll go under center on second down. Give to the first man through. Gain of about three. He was wrapped up immediately by Corey Robinson. Just across the 45-yard line. We'll make it third, and we'll call it three. It's a long three. Wide outs to either side. McLean going to keep it, and I believe he's, yes, he's going to be stopped short, about a yard and a half short of the first down marker. Dante Hayes and Devontae Hinton on the stop for Texas City. Going to bring up a couple, yeah, it's going to. What, third and a yard? Third, yeah, third and a long yard. Again, yep. that's that long yard. That's right, a yard and a half pretty much. Maybe it's that same yard they try to get a touchdown with before, before halftime. <laughs> Maybe it'll be that same yard. Well, with three and a half minutes to play in the third quarter, and they're down by 24, they're going to go for it. From under center, McLean will have it easily as he just goes straight forward on the quarterback sneak to the 50-yard line. Dwayne Taylor on the stop for Texas City. But the Rangers stay alive on the drive. McLean will go back in the shotgun on first down. Pump fakes now rolling outside. Still looking to throw. He does. Fires it downfield. Intercepted. Yes, it is at the eight-yard line. Zach Powell gets this one. Tell you what, McLean just threw that one up. Probably you'd say ill-advised because you think was, he might have been able to get the corner. Yeah, Powell was defensed that one perfectly, obviously, as he comes up with the interception. So second turnover of the game comes back-to-back -back for the Rangers. However, Penn's Texas City deep. They'll start at the nine. They have started worse. They started the first possession of the game at the six. So we got 3.02 left in the third quarter. Dante Foreman gets the call, hitting the backfield, and he'll be dropped there. Falls forward. See if they'll mark it to give him a yard or give him a – yep, we'll give him a yard. Gain of one. Edward Kessner on the stop, number 28, sophomore sure. linebacker for the Rangers. Just his just Foreman's second carry of the half. We're in Texas, excuse me, Texas City's third possession.
Looking to pass, has a man here in the near flats, catch. And that is Armonte Foreman with the catch. He'll pick up 15 as he's knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. So Drake James, I'm sorry, makes the stop for the Rangers. But that'll move the chains. Andrew Allen, 8 of 15 on the night, 208 yards in the air. Having a good night. I want to say he had three incompletions in a row there for a while. Big hit in the backfield. That was uh, Kessner, I believe, number 28. Lynch has dropped for a two-yard loss. And again, the good thing about that is the clock runs. Marshall Servit goes to the far side, split wide. Near side is Trace Rodriguez. Fake, looking to pass. Has a man at the sticks. And that is number 47. Where did he come from? <laughs> Bobby O'Neill with the reception. Well, every homecoming king needs a catch every now and then, right? <laughs> Bobby O'Neill with his second catch of the season. Was that 13 yards on that one? Fifteen on that catch. Nothing there at all again. Donald Edward Lynch. Kester, the sophomore, making his presence known on this drive. Down under a minute to play in the third quarter. 40 seconds and counting to be exact. Hernandez gets the call. First man up the middle. He'll pick up about, I want to say five, up to the 40. And that, nope, he doesn't get to the 40. I'm sorry. <laughs> he gets up to the... 30, 38, eight. back we'll to the original line of scrimmage. Really, we'll get picked up those three yards that we lost, and that's going to be the last play of this quarter as we, as it counts down. Texas City ends the third period on top, 34-7 to seven over the Terry Rangers. Twelve minutes left here at Rice Stadium in the opening round of Class 4A Division II. Playoff action. Allen looking to pass. He's tripped up, and this one will be intercepted. intercepted. Yep. No call is made on the trip. Nelson Williams has still blocked his the feet. back, and he's still. <laughs> There's there the flag. flag. There yep. you go. He can dive in, but unfortunately, Rosenberg Terry is not going to get six points on this one. No. Nope. Going to look at probably the initial contact being uh, incidental. But had a man had a beat on him, and he got taken down from behind, so that one's going to come back. Spot foul at the 30. So they'll probably mark it from the spot, 15 yards from the spot. We'll see here from the 29, actually. But the band plays on. <laughs> While they mark the penalty off, I want to thank our statistician tonight, B.J. Johnson, for helping us out and making us sound like we know what we're talking about. Thanks, nice. And a big thanks to senior business and accounting major Christian Johns for coming yeah. up with the 
building the spreadsheet to do the stats He's got with. a lot of time on his hands. I'm not sure if we Man, can check that out. You're paying out. for that, right? I know it. Yeah, I'm paying dearly. <laughs> it's hard to say senior <laughs> at Texas Tech. Wow. Going to get his ring next Tuesday. Man, you know? oh, man. Scary. Well, after the penalty, the Rangers will have the ball first and 10 at their own 39-yard line after the interception. McLean will be under center. First man through, gets the call, breaks a tackle, and he's got some open field at the 15, 10, and he'll go down at the 6. Big run from the 39. Devonta Hinton finally brings him down, and he gets up slow. Oh, he gets up very <laughs> he slow. He is wondering if he is in Houston or where. But I tell you what. Well, He's got 109 yards on the night. He has worked hard for those he, 109 he yards. He definitely has right there. Picks up 34 of them just like that. Quarterback sneak. McLean will keep it, and he'll get down to the three, maybe the two. Second and goal from the three for Terry. Their third time in this second half third to be in, in the red zone. zone. I hadn't yeah. had first and goal yet, or, or hadn't had a goal, goal and goal yet. But nothing doing for the first man through. I believe that was Ricky Blackburn. The ball carrier, no gain. That'll bring up third down, third and goal. Larry Edwards and Logan Thompson in on the stop for Texas City. From the two. Big, big stop there. McLean steps back. Intercepted. Intercepted. Zach Powell right at the goal line. Holy moly. Wow. Look what I found. Zach Powell just <laughs> standing in the way in the path. Puts wow. his hands up and gets his second interception yes. of the night. <laughs> Look at the scoring drives here in the second half. It's turnover on downs, interception, interception, interception. Texas City has intercepted three times in a row. And the second time they've made a stop <laughs> at, inside the goal the, line. at the goal line, right, inside exactly. the two. Exactly. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. The only difference in this stop and the last one was that the last time they stopped inside the two, they got to go to the locker room. This time, this time they've they got, got to come on out. offense first, <laughs> first down at the two. Wow. That is huge. Right. I got like to know what's going through Zach Powell's mind at that moment. What are you throwing me the ball for? <laughs> right there. Or what's going through Keyshawn McClain's mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Three times in the red zone in the second half and no come up with nothing. Texas is going to call a timeout. And we'll take with it. We got 10 minutes and 11 seconds left in our ball game. Texas City on top, 34 to 7. After the timeout, Texas City. Ready to go first and 10 at their own two. And got the ball last possession at the nine. And now we're at the two. <laughs> but happy to have it. Wow. A little missed. First one's pass intended for Armonte Foreman. Foreman was heading down the field. And I think Allen was expecting him to uh, turn around. I think he yeah. might have been. It didn't happen. <laughs> And the scary thing about that is the defender was about seven or eight yards away from that errant pass. So, the, fortunately, that one. <clears throat> Talked about wondering what's going through uh, Keyshawn McLean's mind. Last two passes were interceptions. He's thrown interceptions. And like I said, that, that last one on the two, just killer if you're a Rosenberg, Terry, Ranger fan. Allen keeps. Got to get it out of the end zone. And he just barely does. Runs laterally and he's going to lose a yard. Back to the one. Actually, yeah, you're right. 
It's going to be third and 11 now from the one. So, Allen, when he receives the ball, he'll be in the end zone. Give to Foreman. He makes the line. He's at the 10, the 20. He's at midfield. He's going to go. 90. He's at the nine. 30, the 20. No flags. And from 99 yards away, <laughs> touchdown, Texas City. Oh, my goodness. Adds up to 242 total yards for the night on that one, 99 yards. Well, he made Almost that. Almost untouched. He made that <laughs> one cut, and you could see it from <laughs> oh my goodness, everybody. Wow. Both bands that was playing <laughs> on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was three-play drive. It's, wow. Three plays. That's right. 98 yards. You got to say the drive was 98 yards. Yeah, that's true. Two. Extra point is up. Kick is good by Aaron Clays. 9.07 to play in the contest. Texas City extends their lead over Rosenberg Terry, 41-7. to We'll be back with the kickoff in just a second. Trace Rodriguez set to kick off after the 90, I guess officially 98-yard. 98-yard well, drive. Drive, that's it right. It was a 99-yard 99 99 run. run. Yeah. Taken at about the 8-yard line. Got a flag down here at about the 40. Maxwell was the ball carrier and brought it out to the 25. But again, a flag down, a whale, well away from the play, and it's going to be a hold against Terry. That'll back it up. Line of scrimmage will be the 15. That's where Terry will have it first and 10 with exactly nine minutes to play in the game. Stingery fans enjoying this win. First man through now, got a flag, comes in, several of them. Yeah, got a face mask. Yeah. <clears throat> so that personal foul will move the line of scrimmage all the way up to the 35. First penalty, I, I, mean, it, it, I know there's been another penalties. Just so very few in this game. It's kind of nice. Ball on the ground and finally finds the handle, does McLean. He'll lose about four. Better be glad he found it because right there, David Choppa was right there on it. Choppa was, you know, McLean went down first and didn't find the handle on it, and it took a second time to go to end to third, cover the ball up. Third fumble of the night for Terry. Call it a loss of three. Be second and thirteen. Terry had sixteen fumbles in the season, only lost five. That's a great ratio here tonight. They've fumbled three times. Of course, haven't lost any fumbles. Lost three passes. McLean sends three wide outs to the far side, one to the near side. First man through gets the call, and he won't get much of anything. Maybe a yard. Actually, going to give him progress to the thirty-four, a gain of two. Ricky Blackburn, the ball carrier, 
That'll bring up third and 11 for the Rangers. McLean ready to go under center. I think he'll put it in the air. Well, doesn't have much choice. Gets a big rush. He's flushed out of the pocket. Now looking downfield, he'll throw it downfield and caught at the 30-yard line. Got away with a push right there. No referee in the area. Rodney Fobbs on the reception. 48 yards on the catch. They were right there together. And Edwards just kind of gave him a little shove right as the ball came. Got away with one there, but however, big first down and a little bit of a little bit of momentum back. <clears throat> and unfortunately little, yeah. for Terry, this half, they're only two yards from the red zone again. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, it has been a nemesis for them. First man gets it up the middle, but he somehow or another cuts it out. Blackburn. Bounces off of a couple of tackles, and he makes a nice – oh, now we've got a flag coming in late in the backfield. And a sting down. And it looks like he got a stinger. Trying to sort this one out. Hadn't really seen any preliminary indication of which way they're pointing. Good to see Hinton quickly get up under uh, under his own reconnaissance. Dead ball, personal foul against Terry. Not a good thing for them. No, it's not. And they were... They had just gotten into the red zone. <laughs> just got into the red I zone. I don't mean to laugh Man, about it, but just, that, that yeah. has been their. Like I'm watching Texas Tech. Uh, like I said, that has been their nemesis this second half is they get inside the red zone in three times. Now this. And they move the first down markers back with them, hmm. which is going to be an advantage for Terry. First and 10, the line of scrimmage will be the 30 or yeah, the 27. That's, that's, that penalty doesn't hurt as bad when you move that marker with it. McLean from under center, handoff right up the middle. First man through again. Yep. To the 21. Torrey Cooper. Ricky Blackburn, the ball carrier. <laughs> 620 and counting to play in the game. Winner moves on to play another week. Sixth play of the drive here for the Rangers. The big play, of course, the 48-yard catch put them in this position. McLean takes the handoff, looking to throw. Nobody there. So wow. now, and now he's got a man open in the end zone yep. for a touchdown. Defender fell down. And that's number 32 with Donald the reception Dorsey. all by himself. Dorsey wide open. 20 yards away. They weren't in the red zone. They weren't there exactly, exactly. They were about half right. a yard shy. Terry lining up in the swinging gate. Snap to McLean looking to throw. Gets flushed out of the pocket. Now he's just going to throw it up in the air, and it's caught but well out of bounds. So the extra point attempt, no good. With five minutes and 52 seconds left to play in the game, Texas City 41, Terry 13. We'll be right back.
Up, the onside kick is recovered by number one, Ivan Hinojosa for the Rangers. Nice looking little onside kick. They line everybody up on the far side, and he starts to run that way, but just kind of kicks it sideways back to the near side. Stings weren't quite ready for it, and just like that, the Rangers have the ball again in Stingray territory at the 48-yard line. McLean will be in the shotgun on first down. Looking to throw, fires it downfield. Incomplete. Texas City says they came up with it, but official says no. Alan Mull looked like he looked like he caught it from here. Of course, you know we're <laughs> way up here, but he did a nice job. Well, of we have a front. better angle than. <laughs> yeah, nice job of getting in front. Alan Mullen, a new upward basketball coach. How about that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Colin Abernathy, another basketball coach out here. Second and 10 for the Rangers. Right up the middle, across the 45, down to the, well, just across the 45. We're going to call it the 45, a gain of three for Blackburn, Ricky Blackburn. Sophomore Jesse Sendejas with the stop for Texas City. Ted, Terry doesn't seem like they're in much of a hurry to be behind with 28 a, points. With five minutes exactly and counting to play in the game. Firing it out to the near side or the far sideline. Bouncing off a tackler and finally goes down. Boy, that was Maxwell, Michael Maxwell with the reception. Nice job all over the place out there fighting through blocks. Trying to see Ralph Anderson is the one that finally came up with a stop. Ralph Anderson, a sophomore. Giving, Fourth. I'm sorry, okay. go ahead. He's giving some help out there as well. Fourth and five for the Rangers from the Stingery 43-yard line. McLean from under center looks to throw. Still no, can't find any guy. He gets flushed out of the pocket. Comes to the near side and has a wide open man. That's Maxwell again at the 30, 25. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 20-yard line. Actually going to mark it just across the 20. 22 yards. Needed about five for the first down. Tell you what, kept that thing alive by his feet. The clock stops. Actually, I thought he got out of bounds, but the clock is still ticking. I did, ticking. too. I guess they just... Stopped it to move the chains. And the front third of the football is in the red zone for the Rangers. Ball right uh -oh. at the 20. Not a good thing. Handoff right up the middle. Ricky Blackburn gets the call. <laughs> nice job by Ger Gerard Holt. Gerard grabs a hold of him. Looks like he tried to bounce back up and run again. Holt was not going <laughs> to let him go. And a four will make it second and six. 41 to 13, Texas City on top with 315 and counting to play in the game. McLean takes the snap from under center, rolls to the far side. Now getting chased out of the pocket, gets away from a one would-be tackler. He's going to have to tuck it and run. He will, and he'll get pushed out of bounds inside the 10 at the seven-yard line. Playing gain of nine, and he gets it out of bounds to stop the clock at 257. Ralph Anderson pushes him out of bounds. So first and goal 
for Terry. McLean from under center. Again, first man. Actually, McLean keeps it this time, and he'll get down to the two. Makes the handoff to Blackburn and keeps it around the left side. Hunter Cridland and Alan Mole on the stop for Texas City. So brings up second down and goal. <laughs> Rangers to the line. This nice. time, nowhere to go. <laughs> nice defense. That's Blackburn Jimmy, again. Jimmy Butler grabbed a hold and just wouldn't let him drive. <laughs> Would not let him drive. Lots of credit. <clears throat> he gets that forward progress. Call it no Butler game. Butler was driving him yeah. back. It'll be third and goal from the two again. This <laughs> <laughs> it's like the third time tonight. And the Rangers yet to score from that position. Clock still running down to a minute 35. Third and goal from the two. McLean. Doesn't nothing, get in. Yeah, nothing doing. He got stopped at the one. Hey, that was Wilson. Uh, Williams. Ralph Nelson Anderson. Williams. Ralph Anderson is the first man there. That's going to bring up fourth down. And exactly one minute. And counting to play in the game. You know the starters want to get in there to keep them from getting in. We <laughs> want to get back in, Coach. Let us in. Just keep them from scoring. I'll let these guys do their job. <clears throat> from under center. And, and they almost do it. McLean gets in, spins off of one tackle at the line of scrimmage, and puts it in the end zone. But Texas City, for the second time in two years, will move on to the second round of the playoffs. That's where it ended last year against Fort Bend Marshall. 41 to 19 with the extra point to come. Terry will go for two. All about making that score look respectable, I guess. Get as much as you can. McLean gets caught in the backfield. He pitches it late, and ball's on the ground, nowhere to go, and they'll extra point conversion will be no good as Texas City stops the play at about the 12. At the end of that play, there are seven black jerseys <laughs> around the tackle. 46 seconds left to play. Texas City 41, Terry 19. We'll be right back. to attempt another onside kick. And they do the same way they did last time. This ball's loose again, and Terry has recovered it again at the 50-yard line. He's got that, Martinez has got that, uh, or he's the one that recovered it. Roca's got that kick down. Sting offense is just not going to get back on the field well, this you know, game. Those second, those those guys worked real hard all season. They want to get some offensive plays. <laughs> they're not getting any. No, <laughs> they're not. Now the second team defense guys, they're getting they're, they're getting some work. They're getting their reps. Yeah. Me thinks they might work on onside kicks this week in <laughs> practice. Just a hunch. I'm no coach. Well, 41 seconds. Terry's going to try it again, add some, maybe add some more scores, make the score look a little more respectable. Or Tech City defense will stand up and not let them in. Took them a good while to get in last time. McLean rolls to the far side, looking to throw, getting flushed. He's thrown it out, caught by his go to guy, Tyler Wilson. Wilson catches it. About an eight yard gain. Down to the 42. Robert Frank, 
usually gets to carry the ball, and this time he got to play defense just to get in the game. <laughs> and Dad Gummy got out of bounds. Yeah, so he was <laughs> able to get out of bounds, stop the clock with 32 <laughs> seconds to play. <laughs> Rangers bring three wide outs to the near side, one to the far side. McLean from under center rolls this way, looks to throw, then stands up, and he's got a man open but couldn't get to him. Snuck in behind the Stingery defenders, but McLean just couldn't get the ball to him. Ball's incomplete, and that will bring up third and two with 23 seconds left to play. Probably going to have to have a running play here to get a first down. <laughs> but they're going to stretch this thing out as long as they can, you know. Texas Just City. When it's over, it's over. It, it'll be over, yeah. Texas City will play the winner of Houston Wheatley and Ridge Point. Pass caught across the middle at the far hash mark right at the 30-yard line. Jarvis Ford with the tackle, another sophomore making a play. Blackburn with the catch. Change will get set, and we'll start this one again. McClain 14 ticks left. From the shotgun, rolling out, throws it downfield into the end zone. And Boy, it's pushing, offensive push. Yeah. He caught it. It's a touchdown. Yep. We'll see if they let him have it or not. He says no way. Yeah, officials. Yeah, he was pushing all over him. <laughs> Offensive pass interference is the call. So everybody happy on the sideline tonight, <laughs> at least on this side of the sideline. Tough for the Terry Rangers. Had a good season. They finish up their season at 5-5. Five and five. With hopefully one play left here. McLean takes the snap, looks back, throws it across the field. It's caught, and now clock's at zero, so – and now – Pitched back. Robert Frank comes <laughs> up to make that stop. Out of bounds. Yeah. And that's the ball game. The Texas City Stingeries have won the by district game in the first round of the 24 4A, actually the 4A Class 2 playoffs. 41 to 19, the final score. Talk about next Friday night. Next Friday night. You bet. Let's talk about it. The winner next Friday night. Of, Ca of Houston Wheatley versus. Fort Bend, Ridge Point. Doesn't matter who it is. We're going to be at Deer Park. Deer Park. Deer Park Stadium. Abshire Stadium at 730, right off of 225. We hope to see you there, folks, as Texas City wins this game 41-19. to Talk a little bit about <clears throat> here at Texas City with some great, great offense tonight, uh, totaling, I want to say, just right under 400. Is that right? Over 400 yards on the night. Had some great nights, three interceptions, um, a great, great uh, defensive stand at the halftime, great defensive stand in the second half as well. And uh, like you say, Ronnie, it's nice to move on. Yes, it is, and that will do next Friday night. We thank you for joining us here from Rice Stadium. Ronnie has along with Dennis Joins and the audio-video technical group, the great work that they do from Texas City High School. Again, final score, Texas City 41. Rosenberg Terry 19. Have a great week, everybody.